Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss problem solving about ratio and proportion. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe na rin kayo. For problem number 1, in a photograph, Anne is 9 cm tall and her brother Ariel is 10 cm tall. Anne's actual height is 153 cm. Assuming Anne and her brother's height in a photo is proportional to their actual height. What is Ariel's actual height? So, 9. 9 is to 10. Okay. 9 is the Anne's height and 10 is the Ariel's height in photograph. And sabi ko to, tapatan. This, this is an example of direct proportion. No? Tapatan siya. So, kung si Anne, 9 cm tall sa photograph so in actual height niya is 153 cm so tapatan dapat so yun itong tinatanong yung height sa yung actual height ni Ariel so using cross multiplication so 9 times x that is 9x is equal to 10 times 153 the answer is 1530 divide both side by 9 X is 170. So, ibig sabihin, Ariel's actual height is 170 centimeters. So, to check, okay, through checking, so 9 is to 10 is equal to 153 is to 170. So, by cross multiplication, so dapat equal sila, no? 9 times 170 is equal to 10 times 153. 9 times 170, that is 1,530. And the sa same with 10 times 153, 1,530. So therefore, our answer is correct. For problem number 2, a grilled teriyaki pork recipe that served for people needs 1 kilo of pork. If you want to prepare this dish for 20 people in a family gathering, how much pork do you need? So, pag titignan natin, ang 1 kilo of pork daw can serve 4 peoples na yun. Oh. Pero kapag 20 people in a family gathering, so ilang kilo of pork ang kailangan? So, yung 1, this is uh, referring for the uh, kilos of pork. Tapos ito yung tinatanong. So, sa 1, itatapat natin yung number of people. So, that is 4. At yung tinatanong natin kung ilang kilo for ilang kilo na pwede na i-serve for 20 people. So dito natin ilalagay. Okay, so tapatan lang, tapatan since this is a direct variation. So ibig sabihin kapag tumaas ito, since tumataas yung number of kilos, mas marami yung pwedeng serve, i-serve mo, no? Kung sa isang kilo may apat na pwede na power four persons. So, ilang kilo yung for 20 person. So, this is an example of direct variation. So, cross multiplication again. So, 4 times x, 1 times 20. So, 4x is equal to 20. Divide both side by 4. So, 20 divide 4x is equal to 5. Ibig sabihin, 5 kilos of pork is needed to serve 20 people. To check, okay, check natin. So, 1 is to 4. So, our x is, uh, this is 1 is to 5. So, check lang natin. So, that is 1 is to 5 and equals to 4 is to 20. So, by cross multiplication, para ma-check natin kung proportion. 1 times 20, that is 20. 4 times 5, that is also 20. So, therefore, 5 kilos is correct. Next. For example, number 3, Ami's photos come into two sizes, 13 cm by 19 cm and 15 cm by 10 cm. Are these dimensions proportional? So first, the question can be restated as 13 is to 9 equals 15 is to 10. So tinatanong kung proportion ba sila. So using cross or by using the fundamental law of proportion, by using cross multiplication, 13 times 10 is equal to 9 times 15. So, multiply 13 times 10, that is 130. And 9 times 15, that is 135. So, they are not equal. So, therefore, 
the dimension are not proportional. Number four. Problem number four, the ratio of boys to girls in the mathematics club is 4 to 5. If there are 25 girls in the club, how many boys are in the club? So first, 4 is to 5, no? the ratio of boys to girls in mathematics club. And then, if there are 25 girls, so saan natin itatapat yung 25 girls? So dito sa 5. So, kinukuha natin yung number of boys. So, by cross multiplication also, 5 times x, that is 5x, 4 times 25, that is 100. Divide both sides by 5, x is equal to 20. Therefore, there are 20 boys in the mathematics club. So, for checking, 4 is to 5 is equal to 20 is to 25. So, 4 times 25 is equal to 5 times 20, and that is 100 equals to 100. So, therefore, tama yung sagot natin. For problem number 5, the ratio of letters present into two words in 5 is to 3. If the first word contains 15 letters, how many letters are in the second word? So, 5 is to 3. So, yung 5, that is the first word, and 3 is the second word. So, 5 is to 3. So, ito ay uh, the number of words, no? In number of words, yung ratio sa words. So, since tapatan ito, so yung 5, katapat niya yung 15 letters. Ito yung per first word. Ang tinahanap natin yung letters in the second word. So, using cross multiplication, 5x is equal to 15. So, 3 times 5, that is 45, divide both side by 5. So, the ans answer is x is equal to 9. Ibig sabihin, there are 9 letters in the second word. Okay, to check, 5 is to 3 is equal to 15 is to 9. So, 5 times 9 is equal to 3 times 15. And that is 5 times 10, 45. 3 times 15, 45 also. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot natin. For problem number 6, a man wants to invest some of his savings in a conservative portfolio where the ratio, ratio of the amount invested in bonds to amount invested in stocks is 3 is to 1. So, this is only ratio class. So, check. Edit lang natin. So, again, a man wants to invest some of his savings in a conservative portfolio where the ratio of the amount invested in bonds to the amount invested in stocks is 3 is to 1. If the amount invested in bonds is 250,000 more than, so ito yung uh, uh, lamang nung uh, ininvest niya sa bonds dun sa amount na ininvest sa stocks. So determine the amount of each investment. So magkano? So tingnan muna natin. Since the ratio is 3 is to 1, let uh, x, the amount invested in stocks, and 3x as the amount invested in bonds. So, dito natin kinuha yan sa ratio natin. Since ang nakalagay sa problem natin, yung amount invested in bonds daw ay more than sa more than ng 250,000 doon sa ininvest niya sa stocks. So, paano natin i-represent yun? So, since ito ay representation na invested in bonds, ima-minus natin yung amount na ininvest sa stocks. So, 3x minus x. So, kumbaga, ito yung ininvest natin. Okay? Ito yung investment. Amount invest, invested dun sa bonds. Tapos, ito yung amount invested sa stocks. Kung saan lamang ng 250,000 yung in amount invested sa bonds. So, 3x minus x, that is 2x, is equal to 250,000. So, divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 200, uh, x is equal to 125,000. Ibig sabihin, itong 125,000, yun yung amount invested in stocks. Paano naman yung amount invested in bonds? Since 3x yon isa substitute lang natin yung value ng x natin. So, 3 times 125,000, that is 375,000 pesos. 
That is the amount invested in bonds. So, kapag minus natin yung 375,000, sa 125,000, ang sagot is 250,000. So, ibig sabihin, itong amount na in, uh, invested in bonds, lamang ng 250,000 doon sa amount invested sa stocks. Okay, for problem number 7, a man will go on an out-of-town trip. The destination is 150 kilometers away and he will drive his car to get there and back. If he estimates to cover 10 kilometers per liter of gasoline and he wants to have 10 liters of gasoline to spare for his round trip. So, ibig sabihin, uh, magpapasobra siya ng 10 litro ng gasolina sa biyahe niya na round trip. How much gasoline should he have in his fuel tank when he sets out of his trip? Okay, tingnan natin ang problem. So, balikan natin, the donation 150 kilometers away and he will drive, get. If he estimates to cover 10 kilometers per liter. So, ibig sabihin sa bawat litro, na, maano pa siya, ng, na, yung estimation niya, 10 kilometers. E round trip yon, no? Round trip yon. Tingnan natin. And then, 150 kilometers lahat. So, Total distance for the entire trip is 300 kilometers. Bakit 300? Kasi round trip na eh. 100 kilometers papunta, 100 kilometers pabalik. So, 300 kilometers. Yung isang litro is for every 10 kilometers. So, kung 300 kilometers yan, ilang litro ang kailangan niya? So, 300 divide 10. Okay, 300 divide 10 kasi yung 1 liter, estimated niya na for 10 kilometers na yun. So, 300 divide 10, 30 kilometers, ah, uh, 30 liters, no, ang kakailanganin niya para dun sa round trip. Eh, nagpasobra pa siya ng 10 liters. So, ilan lahat, no? Magkan, ilan lahat ang uh, laman nung ano niya, tanke. So, 30 liters plus itong 10 liters na to class, Ito yung pinasobra niya, no? kasi magpapasobra daw siya ng 10 litro sa biyahe niyang round trip. So, ito yung 30 liters, ito ay sakto na doon sa round trip niya, at plus yung dinagdag niya, yung pasobra niya 10 liters, so ilan lahat? The fuel tank must contain 40 liters of gasoline. For example, number 8, a baker uses a ratio of 1 egg for every 4 cups of flour in a certain recipe. If he or she uses a dozen eggs, how many cups of flour will he or she need? So, yung isang egg daw, katumbas na nun, ay yung four, four cups. Kung meron tayong dozen eggs, so yung ilang peraso ng itlog sa is one dozen? Twelve. Twelve pieces, no? Twelve eggs. So, ilan daw? Ilang cups? Yun. So, one egg for every cups. And then, 12x for every, so, yun ang tinatanong. So, that is, sa, dito, ano to, direct variation, so, tapatan din. So, yung 1 egg for 4 cups, 12 eggs for, so, ito yung tanong, so, represented by x. Ilang cups ito? So, cross, by using cross multiplication, so, x is equal to 4 times 12, that is, 48. So, 48 cups of flour. Next, for example, number 9, to produce a certain perfume, Eugene uses two basic elements, A and B, and combine them into a ratio of 2 is to 7. If he has 91 parts of element B, how many parts of element A should he use? So, meron siyang dalawang elements, A and B, with a ratio of 2 is to 7. So, yung A class, no, yung A natin, katapat niya yung and then yung B, kasi A and B, so ito yung ratio niya, A, tapos yung B. Yung katapat ng B natin is 7. Pero, sinabi niya, he has 91 parts of element sa B. So, sa substitute natin dito sa B yung 91. So, that will become A over 91. Pinalitan natin yung B ng 91 is equal to 2 is to 7 or 2 over 7. So, pop isusolve natin yung A kung ilang parts yung element ng A. So, by cross multiplication, that is A times 7, that is 7A is equal to 2 times 91 that is 182 over 7. So, divide both sides by 7. So, A is equal to 
26 parts. So last example, last problem, Janine and John share profits of their partnership in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So this is ratio again. If Janine shares, if the profit for last year was 30,000 pesos, how much was John share in the profit of the business? So the given ratio is 2 is to 3. And for Janine, that is 30,000 pesos. Ito yung share niya. So, paano natin? Janine is to John is equal to 2 is to 3. Since si Janine merong binigay, yung profit kina 30,000. So, isa substitute natin yung 30,000. And then, i-represent muna natin kay John is X. Kasi kukunin natin yung kung magkano yung kay John share. So, by cross multiplication, 30,000 is to X is equal to 2 is to 3. So, 2 times X, that is 2X, is equal to 30,000 times 3, that is 90,000. Divide both sides by 2, so 90,000 divide 2, the answer is 45,000 pesos. So, ito yung para kay uh, John. No? Ito yung share ni John. So, to check, so i-check natin. So, yung kay Janine share, which is... 30,000 and kay John share that is 45,000 that is 75,000 para ma uh, check natin kung tama talaga yan kailangan makuha natin gamit yung given ratio natin so yung 2 is to 3 so ang ginagawa natin dito i-add natin so ang maging denominator natin is 5 so 2 third ay 2 fifth para kasi 2 plus 3 that is 5 for Janine so 2 fifth for Janine that is 2 fifth times yung amount, so ang nakuha natin is 30,000, and that is correct, kasi ang sabi dito, kay Jan is 30,000, and for Jan, that is 3 fifth, so 3 fifth times 75,000, that is 45,000, at tama rin po yung nakuha natin, so tama, na yung nakuha ni Jan is 45,000, at yung kay Janine is 30,000. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you learned something, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.